welcome back to my channel this is the last question that is question four uh for the uh ganya wa egg uh, uh question uh for this year 2024 um so as we have here that figure three shows two cylinders of different diameters intersecting at right angle and this is diagram so we asked to draw the uh, full size the complete front elevation uh, plan and then development of cylinder x which is this one so diameter of the circular base of this particular cylinder is 15 and the distance from year to year is 30 the height of the particular cylinder is 70 and then the diameter of this of this uh, cylinder x is 20 all right so let's go and see how this can be done so what we need to do first is to draw a vertical center line so we draw a vertical a center line so and it goes uh, like this all right so then we draw a horizontal uh, center line okay so then we are going to take a measurement of 25 which is half of the diameter of the vertical cylinder so 25 so this is it okay so we draw a circle so we draw a circle all right so this is the top of the vertical cylinder so from here so we come up a little bit and we draw horizontal line so this horizontal center line i need to extend it so because of that of the um of the uh, horizontal the penetrating cylinder so it goes like this okay um then the next thing i'm going to do is that so i'm going to draw a vertical line so from this point on the circle so i will draw a vertical line like this and here also we draw a vertical line then i'm going to take a measurement of 70 millimeters 70 millimeters so this is 70 so uh half of 70 half of 70 is 35 so this is 35 so we need to get our center then we are going to draw a horizontal line horizontal center line through this center so it goes like this okay so then we we'll complete this so this is the top of the cylinder the top edge of the cylinder so this is it okay so then uh, we are going to make this line so the thick line okay so let me just and then this line so we make the thick line okay so then the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to take a measurement of 30 millimeters as we have that the length of the penetrating cylinder is 30 so we are going to draw a vertical center line through this and it goes like this All right, so then the next thing that I'm going to do is that so as we have that the uh, diameter of the penetration of the cylinder is um, is uh, 20 so the radius will be 10 the radius will be 10 huh? that's small so radius is 10 so we take 10 millimeters so put it at this point then we are going to draw a semicircle here we draw a semicircle and coming down here also so we draw a semicircle all right so this semicircle we are going to divide into six equal parts divide into six equal parts Alright, so we also do the same thing here. Divide the semicircle into six equal parts. Alright, so then we are going to number the points here. So I will call this this is zero. Okay, so this is one, so this is two, and this is three. So this is true one zero so for this one we alternate the dumping so this will now be zero okay 
so you have to change numbering this is one this is two and this is three so this is one two and this is three so we have this then uh, from here now so I'm going to make this line so this line will be a thick line okay and then so this line will also be a thick line like this so every other line that we have here so apart from so this line will also be a thick line okay so every other line that we have here will be thin continuous line so i'm going to use my red pen for that so we just draw from here to touch this circle and then so at one here so we draw to touch the circle and then coming down here so we draw from one touch the circle and from two we draw to touch the circle okay why for this so uh, this line so will be a thick line just to touch this cylinder and also for this this will be a thick line to touch the cylinder then so um so this line also will be a thick line okay so then we are going to draw from here so it goes to the cylinder so from two draw it goes to the cylinder okay so from two here so you draw it goes to the cylinder and this also goes into the cylinder all right so the next thing that we are going to do is to draw the complete front elevation but before that so i'm going to make this line so this line will be a thick line from here to here and this line will also be a thick line from here to here all right so looking at what we have here so um so for zero so this is line zero here and then we have vertical line zero so intersect this horizontal line zero at this point and also at this point okay so then for others so for one so this is line uh line one here is line one so point one where this line one touch the circle here we are going to draw a vertical line up we're going to draw a vertical line up here so we draw a vertical line like this um, all right so it intersects one at this point so this is the point okay so then so for two so we draw from here okay so we intersect two at this point the last one is three so which is this point where that horizontal line three meets the circle draw a vertical line so it intersect three at this point here so what we are going to do now is to make use of our french curve to produce the curve uh, in the uh, front elevation so this is it all right so you can just join everything like this at once all right so this is the front elevation so we are done with that so then question uh question four uh we have answered question 4a and then 4b so this is 4b so which is the plan then question 4c development of the of this pipe c or cylinder uh, x sorry cylinder x so that's what we want to do now so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to set uh, i'm going to set um so i'm going to set it here i'm going to produce it here now all right so i'm going to uh the next thing i'm going to do is that we are going to calculate the diameter of the circular base of this cylinder so the circumference of this uh cylinder is approximately 63 millimeters so we are going to make a measurement of 63 millimeters here so from this point 63 millimeter this is 63 millimeters here okay so uh this is 3 millimeters 
we are going to divide it into um, so I will divide into six equal parts. I'll just divide into six equal parts. Um, okay, so we, we divide into twelve equal parts. All right, so um, so just take uh, five millimeters each. So there is one, two, um, there is three, four, five, six. I'm going to pause the video and do that. All right, so I've divided it into 12 equal parts. Then uh, we are going to number, this is zero, zero. So um, so the seam is not indicated. So we can just cut it anywhere. We can cut it up here. So uh, what we have is the same as this. So this is zero, zero. So then we have one, 11, two, 10. Then we have three. So this is three, nine. Then we have what we have four eight. So we have we have five seven. Then this is six here. Okay. So that's what we have. So we are going to direct a vertical line on each of these points. So here we draw a vertical line. So then I'm going to renumber this. So this is zero, one, two, three. So this is before. So this is four. Okay. So this is five. And this is six. So this is seven. This is eight. So this is nine. This is ten. And this is eleven. So that is what we need to do to get it right. Okay. All right. So then we take a compass. So, um, so from this zero here, let's turn to this point. So on the curve. So put it at zero here. So make an arc here. At zero here. So we make an arc. So we also have the same thing for six. So I just put a six here. So we can arc. So then the next is two to this point. On the curve, so for two, for sorry, for well, that is one, so one and eleven, so one goes with eleven. So we have this, then two. Um, okay, so one and okay, just let me take it one by one. So two goes with so this is for two, so two, so here we have two ten. Two ten. Okay, sorry. Um, as an error. We are making use of this straight line, not here. So I can see that on the curve. So at two ten, so this is two. Then it goes with ten. So then we have what we have three. Three and nine. So this is three. And then nine. So next is four eight. Very careful. So be on the straight line, not on the semicircle. So this is four eight. Then last one is five seven. Five seven. So this is five and this is seven. All right, so all these points, we are going to join them together. The use of a French curve. So you just need to dot them. All right, so then, so we take the French curve, so we join them together. So 
parts then here. All right, so uh, we're almost done. Okay, so then and this is a client. So this is the surface development of pipe X or cylinder X. As simple as I've done it here, all you need to do is to practice. So thank you. Keep on practicing and God bless you.